So, this is kind of the final piece when it comes to Huey and that kind of thing. Cause there is a lot of questioning Huey here, but this one I kind of find slightly disturbing when you consider what Huey did. So, on one hand, I agree with Huey. He kind of now this would have happened if Snake didn't want that nuke, and to the degree, yeah, he's right. If Snake didn't want the nuke, none of this would have happened. We wouldn't have had Ground Zeroes. Well, with their um, uh, cover, anyway. But having said that, Huey did cause all this. And this is just... You can't figure out where his lies are. Like he said he didn't lock her in. Well, this is Strange Love's fate. Joy, I know you can. You have called me with this. He damned some men forward, he'll never find. You're the cake of it, buried under heaps of meaningless code. waiting there. I don't deserve to see you again. I won't deserve to love you. I have 
Sold your will to him. see through the dream. The false you I created. I only wanted to pass your will on to the next generation. Zero took it away. And now I haven't just lost you. who couldn't protect you. The one who let them take all away from us. Oh. Oh. There's still hope. You. The one he took away. He'll never break your will. Will to make this world the way you saw it could be. I buried code just to be sure. Inside of you, there is an egg, and when someone finds it, when they crack it, there'll be nothing. world you envisioned will come to reality. Thank you. 
Now, you're probably sat there wondering who was she talking to. And I don't know who to blame you because it's not explained in this game. The, jo uh, the Joy, or Joy she's been calling her, is the code name the boss from MGS3, the originator of all this, actually went under uh, when she was in the Cobra unit. Alongside the fear, the sorrow, the anger, and the end. The idea was more or less, yeah, what they feel when going into combat. Apparently the boss really liked combat, so she felt joyful of it. Strange love you meet in Peace Walker, and she is actually confirmed to be a lesbian. Or, I guess, bisexual, considering what's wrong with Huey, but hey. And she actually did love the boss. It's left up in the air whether the boss returned this affection in the mind. Regardless of that, the whole thing is, I want to say a mess, but it's not exactly right. Um, oh hey, we've got some good ones actually. Um, like, um, I'm driving the best way to put it, that's the annoying thing. You're not a hundred percent, I don't know. Strange Love loved the boss so much so that they actually, she actually went out of her way to make the um, the yeah, come on, come on, Swift, use your words. Um, the Peace Walker drones, not drones. The weapons from Peace Walker, they were more or less made in the idea that. Um, <laughs> I had this in my head, that's the worst bit. Um, they were more or less made to carry on the boss's will, um, in a sense. The idea was that Huey and Love and um, Strange Heart, Strange Love, sorry, um, both worked on them and they both wanted to keep the world safe. Now. Peace Walker's entire thing is coming to terms with things, making peace with things, that kind of thing. In terms of like what actually happened, she came to terms with the boss being gone, which, yeah. <laughs> Whereas you came, to, uh, you as in Snake came to terms with actually killing the boss. Which I don't think is an easy thing for anyone to really say, but hey. So, after that, Huey and Strange Love got together. They had a kid called Hal. You might know Hal. In Metal Gear Solid, he's of what is known as Otacom, Hal Emmerich. I think the re if you know Metal Gear Solid, you know where the rest goes from there. But I'm going to leave that bit of its own. 
So, yeah, that is kind of a sad way for Strange Love to go out. Killed by Huey, of all people. But we've got other things to do. So, Secure Quiet, uh, side ops number 150. This is actually kind of misleading. It's not an operation to secure quiet, as much as it sounds like it is. This op, you want to go with a combo, a combat loadout that has as many explosives as you can get. They make it sound like it's not going to be bad. It is. <laughs> it just bluntly is. This one can be really, really bad if you're not prepared for it. And as we all know, I'm never ready for these kind of things. But really, if you know what you're doing, this isn't that hard. And come on, just get as many explosives as you can. Uh, it doesn't really matter what time you go in, I'm going to dawn just because I can, really. I don't think it matters what buddy you take in, but you don't have quite it for this. Or at least not yet, anyway. <sighs> that one always gets me. Where have they actually been in Afghanistan for a while? I think the last, one, the last time we were here was the kids, wasn't it? Ignore the madman with half a million dollars explosives on. Oh, actually, it does say long as go, okay. So they're staying quiet somewhere in this sector. I'm slightly cynical. Am I actually on the right mission? I'm thinking something else. Extraction arrived at mother base. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. I think I'm on the right mission for this. Actually, talking about anything, so I can't get any intel from them yet. You're on your own. I've checked that out a bit because I appear to be getting a lot of guys just going to a sick bay randomly. Don't say a word. You are so helpful. Mm. 
should have really grabbed this gun just so I can get a good headshot in. Then again, that would have given me away. Hi! Keep you down for a bit. All right, what we got? They haven't really specified anything. That's the annoying thing. I think that's the guy I knocked out earlier. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> or they may regret this. 